at the start of 2021, uh, I went to Mexico for the Pan Am Champs. It was really windy. It was kind of a, a lucky game and I got bad luck. Sarah is not going to be happy with that. I got target panic because of the wind. Uh, basically, you just have to hit the trigger to shoot uh, if the wind gives you the chance to shoot and you only have 20 seconds to shoot. So I had to punch the trigger every single arrow that I shot. And as soon as I came back for training to the World Cup, I couldn't erase that uh, out of my mind. At the first World Cup in Guatemala, I had my expectations really high and it was a mess. I actually cried during the qualification round. I was terrified of shooting. Well, it's kind of like a legend that every archer in the world is going to have it at some point in their career, maybe at the beginning, maybe at the end. So it was really scary for me because I didn't know if, if that was going to last forever or not. It's a lot of different kinds of target panic. So for me, it was like being frozen, completely frozen and I couldn't move. My dot was at the 10, but I couldn't move a single muscle. When I tried to move, uh, my dot will go to the seven or the eight at, at six o'clock and that, that was stuck there. I didn't want it to seem like a weak archer because I have all this thought about myself as a really strong archer. I was just like um, ashamed. That was the first thing that came to my mind. It lasted for a couple months. I actually like started to leave while I, while I was in Paris, and I think it was completely gone in the finals. But the whole time I was really scared, and knowing that I had to shoot against a person that I know so well, that gave me kind of like confidence and just it took the, my nerves away. I mean, it's not just the tens; it's the quality of the greetings. I went back to YouTube and watched all my old videos, even the first one, the ones that like started this journey. I realized that I always had a smile on my face and the main goal was not to overcome the target panic, was to gain my happiness back. Nine is all that's required from Sara Lopez to claim her first individual world title and she does it with great style. Yangton was really windy as well, but I just wanted to have fun. I wasn't expecting any medals, anything. I knew what my situation was. I knew that my level wasn't good, so I wasn't expecting anything at all. She has finally reached the pinnacle at the World Championships, and that's what it means to Sara Lopez. Yes, a stronger archer, a stronger person, and I'm happier than ever.